guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joyce here once again. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. So for today's episode, or today's video, I'm going to show to you some of my um, contemporary designer's handbags. So I've got particularly, um, I've got Coach and Michael Kors. So they say, I did some readings, they say when a bag is classified as contemporary if you know they don't reach those um, four figures like 1000 and above those are already high-end bags whereas for contemporary designer bags these are in, in you know mid-range so sometimes they are classified in between $300 to $800 so those are the contemporary designers like that and We've got a lot of them in the market, like of course, um, Coach, Michael Kors, we've got um, Kate Spade, Mark Jacobs, um, Longchamp, and other other branded products or designer products. So we all know the luxury one or the premier, they call the premier designer bags, which are the, of course, the Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, so those are under the high-end market. Although, although I've um, with Coach, they, they've got those bags that are already are also in a high-end, high-end um, you know price. Like they've got some some products or series of bags that usually on that type of you know market on that type of segment. So I think they've got products that they sell for high-end and they've also got products that they sell for like mass production or between those in mid range like also Tory Burch so they've they play between a high-end product and also mid-range product so anyway enough of that so like I said these are some of my contemporary designers handbag so let's start with it of course, for my first handbag, um, not really first, but um, this is actually the first handbag. This is from Michael Kors. So, I've got this um, long, long time already. So, and so this is a jet set um, large Safiano leather crossbody, crossbody bag. Yeah, so. I use this a lot of times too, like if I don't want to bring a lot of items and although it's it's structured, so it's a structured like square bags, but you can put a lot of stuff. But usually when I just go to the market or you know, I just have to get some groceries or just watch movies with friends. So this one goes with because it's a ton taller. So basically it's easy to pair with any of your clothes because of the color so yeah so that's the Michael Kors Jet, um, Jet Large Safiano crossbody bag and then another Michael Kors so I always keep their of course their dust bag you know for protection another one so this one so this is actually still new uh, was given to me by my husband last Christmas so I haven't used it yet so that's why it's still fully covered and I haven't done any um, review for this one so this is the Michael Kors Sese I don't know if I pronounce it right shoulder bag so yep and I um, it's actually inside you can put a lot of stuff too because there's a lot of compartments so one day I'll do a review of this bag and I think this is also um, pebble leather and of course with a gold plated chain and a leather a strap leather there you go so yep that's another Michael Kors and of course I love red And then another Michael Kors is the Ria, Ria Slim Backpack. This one is Ria Slim Medium Backpack. So it's actually slim because you don't actually, it doesn't open wide. 
to it in terms of the weed it's just very limited so I think um, I use my my tablet I can put my tablet here without any problem but the lap, laptop definitely not so um, this bag I got this like I think four years ago yes three or four years ago I can't remember so yep uh, I, I brought this with me when we went to the Philippines uh, on our last trip when we went went home or we went back for a visit so I brought this with me because well um, I, I love it because um, you don't have to look after it although it's, it's a very it's still it's a leather and it's a soft leather and I can see somewhere else already but I'm very careful with my bags um, after I use them I always treat them with it's um, I clean them and also like a softener for leather bags so I think this one is also um, a Safiano or pebble bag usually with Michael Kors that's um, always their type of leather Safiano or, or pebble leather bag so yes and then another Michael Kors is this one recently I just got this so I did a review of this, the Michael Kors Sese Clutch large clutch bag. So because I said I always I, I already have a lot of handbags, shoulder bags, or crossbody bags, but I just want to have some like a clutch. So this one is also you can use it as a crossbody. Like I said, I did a review of this one. So there is the um, chain. And I actually, I love this chain to be honest. It looks so glamorous. So, if you don't want to use the chain, and which is the reason why I bought this because I just want it like clutch. So, I can just use it like, like that. Okay. So, that's another. This is a clutch bag from Microforce. And then another micro course is so another structured bag. So this is um, a large bag and a bit structured, of course. And I love the structure. So this one also comes with a crossbody chain. Um, it's just that I find it too big for me to put a chain on it. I just want to have it hand carry. Like that or like that in my shoulder uh, in my elbow so or just carry it like that so I did a review of these two and it's also very spacious inside so there's a lot of compartments so you can put a lot of stuff um, with this bag so if, if you're like that if you use a lot of if you bring a lot of stuff with you this is also a good one. So this bag actually comes in um, large. So this is the large size, and then they've got also the small one. The small. So this is the also Michael Kors um, Hamilton New Look um, large bag. There you go. So those are for my Michael Kors bag, and of course I also have my coach bag so this is also that's why I think this is the first I know this is the second coach bag that I purchased so this one is the, um, you can use it like a wristlet so, or sometimes I just put makeup on this and this also comes with a crossbody strap I don't know where the strap is. Um, I put them all together, all the strap in one one section. So, so this one comes with a strap too. So you can wear it with a strap, or you can just wear it like that. We slip. So, yep. So this is a pebble zipper. Yeah. And then this one. Because I want something formal 
I don't know if all my bags are formal. Like formal that I can use like at night time aside of course from the aside from clock. So this one I got this from Coach Two. So this is they call this the Coach Parker Scala Rivets. So because they've got rivets they on the side and the color is color combination i love the color combination of it's like toffee and then we've got off white and then black and then mixed with gold and then black chain so they do the trick it's a good combination of color so you can mix it with any of your clothes too and you know so i wore them a lot of times too when we went to Gold Coast or when I go out at night so yeah I did an in um, a review of this bag too so there you go and another one is this bag so this is a chalk card fabric so there's all it's also a bag another structured bag so most of my bags are structured so I've got this you can wear it like that just hand carry it like that or if you want you can have it crossbody yes and it is an adjustable strap so I did also a review of this bag so this is a coach job card coach band job card bag all spacious i think that's one of my if you would probably notice my most of my bag collections i want them wider that i can put a lot of things and i want them with a zipper so not really comfortable with bag especially with a tote bag that's one thing i've noticed i don't have a tote bag yet um, i'm not really fun of not having a zipper i, I want a bag with a zipper so Anyway, so yes, that's it. And then the last one is, of course, currently this is the one I'm using at the moment. That's why it's a bit heavy. So this is um, another from Coach, but this one, because most of the co uh, all of these Coach bags that I have, uh, I got them from the coach it's um coach retail shop so i got them online and this one I, I think i got this outlet so it's a bit different fabric as compared to this one but i believe they're both um they're both shop cards so i don't know what type of bag is this because like i said this is the parker this is the band and yeah i don't know what's this one if you you know can you make a comment so yeah i think i got this from the outlet so yep and oh well this one is widely open but of course it's enclosed with a um, magnetic closure but there are two zip on it so you can put some let's see where you can put some of your important stuff you know just to make it secure so yes so with this bag, I can also put a lot of stuff. Definitely. It's a Sasha Sasha type of bag. There you go. Well, these are my bags, Coach and Michael Kors, and these are my collection. If you know, um, there are a lot of contemporary designer bags in the market and like if i'm going to invest on in them i'm thinking if i'm am i gonna get another contemporary designer bag i don't know but like i said i was computing all of them probably um the six items because these are all nine items i, I added them like the six items of these bags um if i save them and didn't buy this bag i could have you know bought some i could have bought a never cool movie with one yeah for the price of six bags uh three bags from coach and then three bags from michael course i think when i was having it but of 
of course, no regrets because at that time when I bought them, see, you know, you, you, I would rather have, I would rather have an original contemporary designer bag rather than buying a $300 or $400 fake Louis Vuitton or, you know, premier bring your bag so because there are a lot there are a lot of class A or replica bags or fake bags designer fake designer handbags are usually are being you know sold in the market for that price range like you pay 200 or 300 or 400 dollars I don't know but but then you know you're carrying a fake product or fake you know, brand so I would rather spend Pen it on contemporary designer items that I know that are made of quality things because this mid-range products, you know, these are they are highly they are also good products. They are quality. They made of quality products. Um, of course, not as high end as those other brands or the high end brands, but definitely it is worth the price also when you spend that, those amount of money so anyway it's anyone's choice right so whatever makes you happy like I said live life to the fullest and thank you for watching my video I hope that you like this episode